Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing profile lookup. Uh, we have an array of objects representing different people in our contacts list. So it's an array, and then in each position, at position 0, 1, 2, 3, we have an object of uh, various uh, data. A lookup profile function that takes name and property lookup profile function that I've already got there, and it takes name and property as arguments has been pre-written for you. The function should check if name is an, is an actual contact's first name and the given property if the property of that contest. So it looks like we're taking name would be Akira here, and Akira is the first element. So Akira, and then it's going to give us likes. So it's going to say pizza coding brownie points. So I think... If we were to console.log, uh, look up profile, and then Akira likes, um, we should receive some sort of thing. So let's just return something with an exclamation point. Interesting. Something. Oh, retrun, retrun, return. Okay, cool. Something. So this is what's happening right now. We're, we're console logging this out. Now what we actually want this to console log out to, the way I'm understanding it right now, is pizza coding brownie points. Um, the function should check if the name is an actual contact's name, first name, and given the property. If both are true, then return the value of that property. So if Akira is there and likes are there, then we want to return the value. So... In this case, we would return the things that Akira likes. If the name does not correspond to any contents, then return no such contact. If prop does not correspond to any valid properties of a contact found to match name, then return no such property. Interesting. Okay, well, I think that we should just basically... We can start by saying... If contacts dot name and I think we should use yeah let's use bracket notation um, we're returning something now I'm in a console log contacts uh, name. Context name. So right now I'm just trying to get an idea for how this works. Okay, so right now context name is not happening. Why is that? Context and name. We should have context. Context. Okay, so here's the thing is we want to... <clears throat> We need to go through each element of the contacts because contacts is an array, right? So we're going to say, yeah, okay, for there i is equal to zero, i is less than con uh, contacts dot length, and then i plus equals one. And now if we console.log, we're going to say contacts at position i. We're getting these objects. I'm going to get rid of these other console logs for now because they're annoying. But you see we're getting object, 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 object. We get four of them. Why is that? One, two, three, four. There's four elements. If we were to console log the contacts dot first name, we would get Akira, Harry, Sherlock, and Chris. Akira. Harry, Sherlock, and Chris. Now, what it's saying is, um, I think um, the function should check if name is an actual contact's first name. And, and the given property is a property of that contact. As, okay, and so if we were to go console.log contacts i, And then we say dot, 
and then we say prop. This is going to get us their, um, the, the feedback from there. And so for this, it's saying likes. Likes is being passed in as the, the parameter. So what we're doing is we're getting the name and then their likes. So Harry's got that. Sherlock's got those. Kristen likes, or, uh, Chris, Christian likes JavaScript gaming and foxes. Um, the function should check if name is an actual contact's first name. So sh we should say now, um, so if uh, con, I'm going to set a variable now to just say variable contact is equal to contact checks at I. Okay, and then this will make it so I can just deal with individual contact. So it's the contact at that specific point. You'll see this is the same thing. I've just created a variable for this. So now I can say um, if contact.name is equal to the prop. Oh, no, is equal to the name being passed in. Um, yeah, if the name is the actual contact's first name and the given prop is a property of that contact. Okay, so and contact.prop is not equal to undefined. So what I'm saying is if the contact.prop, and in this case the prop is likes, as long as that's not equal to undefined, um, if the function, the actual contact and the given prop is a property. The function should check that name is actual content and the given property is a property of that contact. Okay, so we're checking for that. If both are turned, return the value of that property. So we want to return the value of the property. So contact dot prop. And that would make it so that, let's say, We, contact, we console log this out. We want to get rid of all the uh, console logs in here because they're going to make it confusing for us. We don't need that. That was just some code that I didn't need. Um, we're going to return something. Contact.name is equal to name. Uh, Contact.name. contact dot first oh okay yeah this should be um, first name so I put in name there but we're not trying to get name here we've already uh, utilized the name um, yeah so contact dot first name is equal to the name that's being passed in because the contacts at position I. So we're just initializing each one through. So the contact, initially it's here. And if contact is equal to Kira, so contact.firstName, which should be Akira here, is equal to name, which is this variable here, then this should, and contact.prop, what's prop? Likes. Contact.likes. Maybe I need to pass these in as bracket notation. Return contact dot prop. What happens if we return contact? Okay, so it's working there. It's working here. What happens if we say contact? Contact. 
contact at I. Contact dot first name. Akira. Is Akira equal to name? True. Okay, so contact.prop must be our issue. Um, let's, what happens if we figure out what the prop is? Contact.prop is equal to Yeah, it's not equal to undefined. That should be true. And then we should be passing that in. Contact first name is equal to name. Oh, so for some reason bracket notation is messing that up. And now I think, oh yeah, we're returning the contact but we should be contact a prop. And that'll get us pizza, brownies, and cooking points. This is the likes of Akira. So look up profile, Akira, that ha and look up Akira's likes. And that gets us this array of things that she likes. I'm just going to run the tests now to see what's passing. Okay, cool. Three tests are passing, and three tests are failing. So um, if both are true, return the value of that property. So this is the value of that property. This is the value of the property we passed in. If name does not correspond to any contacts, then return no such contact. If prop does not, okay, so <clears throat> we should say else if contact dot first name. No, no, no. Actually, what's going to happen is we're going to run through here searching for first names. And if the first names don't show up, we want to return uh, no such contact. Okay, and so this will probably pass this test and this test, but then we don't have this property one test. But for now, let's just see if we can get that one. Okay, great. So no such contact is returned to there. But if prop does not correspond to any valid properties of a contact found to match name, then return no such properties. Okay, so what happens here is if we're going through and we're testing to see if the contact matches any properties, if we get the first name, ah, okay, so we want to take this guy out. And now we say, what we're going to do is move this guy here and say, if contact prop is equal to undefined, then we pass this guy back. Then we return this value. Um, and then if that doesn't happen, we return <clears throat> uh, no such property. Okay, cool. And so if we were to pass in Akira and address into here, why is that? Akira has no address in here. This should say no such property. Cool. And if we were to pass in Bob and potato, we should say there's no such contact. Why? There's no Bob in this list. Yeah, we run the test. You see that passes. Okay, cool. So um, I'm just going to try to go over. This is this is basically how you can answer the uh, the, the the question. Um, there's obviously ways to, I like the fact that we extracted the contact so we didn't have to write contacts at position I here, here, and here. By setting a variable, we're saving ourselves the repeat time of doing that three times. Um, and then it's just kind of a bit of logic. Um, you know, you, first off, we're doing, we're running through the list and we're checking each element of the list and we're setting each element in here to be equal to a contact. And then we say if the contact if, at first name and so as we're going through you, here, you can console.log contact dot first name. Or we could do contact dot, um, dot, oh wait, yeah, we can go json dot stringify the contact. This just makes it so it's legible to us. 
So we're going through here and then we can just say, um, yeah, so this is the first one, Akira and then Harry and then Sherlock and then Christian. Akira, Harry, Sher Shirley, and Christian. And then at this point, we're asking if the contact dot first name, so Kira, is equal to the name that's being passed in. If name is Akira here, we say yes, then we go to this one. And if the contact property is not equal to undefined, meaning if Akira at, um, in this previous example, it was uh, likes, you know, Akira, if Akira likes is not equal to undefined. And so when you get Akira likes and uh, it's equal to pizza coating pizza brownie, that's not equal to undefined. So we can return that value. Otherwise, if we were doing Akira address, which doesn't exist, we'll return no such property. And if there's, if we're going through here and it's asking for Bob, then the whole for loop executes, but it doesn't find anything. So the return statements are never hit. And so it'll just go to no such contact. And that's how this works. Um, again, as always, the uh, console logging is not actually required. And let's see, I'm console logging somewhere in here. Yeah, and I can get rid of this guy too. And this is actually the uh, a very simple way to think about this problem. And we run the tests in the past. Uh, anyways, hope this helps you guys, and we'll see you in the next lesson.